My name is Carson Buller. Um, I'm from Whitefish, Montana. I'm taking the Diesel Corp and Chassis Fab programs. So I have a 1990 uh, Dodge W250, which has a 12-valve Cummins diesel engine in it with a uh, five-speed manual transmission. I'm building it uh, to be a rock crawler. It was set up as a rock crawler, but I'm taking this opportunity to reconstruct a lot of the components and better the build. Ever since I was young, I've always liked the diesel idea. Well, mainly the noise. I just love the, the grumble of a diesel. My grandpa and my parents, and they've always had diesel rigs, and I, they've just fascinated me, the horsepower and torque that they can create. I just love it. My family and I spent a lot of time down in Moab, Utah, and it's totally off-road based down there. And so when I saw this truck, I was like, oh, I got to build this to perform down there in Utah. And so that was kind of the inspiration behind what I'm doing with it. The rock crawler's name is Archie. And it, uh, that name comes from the national park in Moab, uh, Arches National Park. So we decided on Archie. Moab has a ton of awesome off-road terrain. And it, most of it is what they call a slick rock. And it's actually very grippy but they're, you know, anywhere from two foot to four foot obstacles, you know, and varying steepness. And so it's definitely a very difficult terrain that lends for fun off-roading. So the crawler had a full roll cage on it prior to me purchasing it. And some of the fabrication quality was pretty poor. We cut out a substantial amount of tubing work and we kind of reconfigured the tubing work surrounding the cab creating a full exoskeleton and now we're working on four linking the front and doing high travel uh, coilover suspension with suspension hoops and strut braces. It's pretty solid uh, mechanically so we're just going to finish up the exoskeleton and suspension and go from there. The last few years I've been around like heavy equipment, excavators and that stuff, doing all kinds of field work, changing hydraulic lines, and I've been hands-on working on them prior to coming here to WyoTech. After working on that stuff, I just have developed a passion for the high horsepower diesel engines, and it's just crazy the amount of work that, the, that they can do. So I don't know, it's just what I love to do. What drove me to WyoTech was uh, my uncle attended WyoTech a long time ago, took the automotive program and he loves things that go fast. He loves, he just loves things that, you know, have an engine in it. He's been kind of a mentor uh, for me throughout my life, so he kind of inspired me. I thought WyoTech would be a great opportunity for me to learn those, you know, fundamentals. It's been a blast so far. I've, I've grown really good connections with all of my instructors to the point where it kind of feels like family. and. That's always fun, so not only am I learning, but I'm, you know, making relationships while I'm here. That part of it's been amazing. WyoTech has taught me many things, teamwork being one of them. I mean, you can't always do everything on your own, so having, you know, good co-workers and good teammates to get the job done is always an important thing. My chassis fab instructor, Don, he's been super encouraging throughout the whole Dodge build, and me and him are always having a great time. I think that the memories in Chassis Fab are the ones that I'll remember. It's just a fun environment. For people who are interested in attending WowTech, I would say that it's a 10 out of 10 go. It's a very fun uh, environment. You get to know your instructors very well, and you get to do what you love to do. They teach you how to you know, make a career out of that, and that's important. <laughs>